Dipstick's an amazing piece of kit that finds potentially dangerous structural defects in the underground section of steel street lighting columns. Before you use it, it's essential to make a few quick checks. First of all, obviously, check the columns not falling over or causing you any other danger. Secondly, check there's no traffic danger to you while you're carrying out the work. And finally, make sure the exposed conductive part of the column is not energized from an internal electrical fault. It's not unknown. And use something like a volt stick. This one's safe, so we can go ahead and take off the door and start work. Have a good look inside. Does any of the wiring appear dangerous? You are looking for exposed conductors, burning, damage, infestation or growth. If necessary, have a clean up with an insulated brush. But be careful, there's a lot of potential short circuit current knocking about in a simple street light. Now you can get to work with the amazing dipstick. Hang it on the bottom of the access hole and fasten the loop round the outside of the column. These clever connections provide a good contact but will release if the instrument is accidentally pulled. Now connect the probe. All this takes a matter of seconds. Switch on dipstick and if it's the first time you've used it that day, enter your security code. Calibrate every time you start to test a column by putting the tip of the probe against the wall about 5 centimetres below the aperture and setting the unit to 100% full-scale deflection. We're now ready to test this column. Move the probe down the middle of the column and watch for a reduction on the meter. This would reveal a loss of wall thickness. If there's room, a more thorough test would result from moving the tip down the wall of each of the four quadrants. Steadily move the probe down, checking the meter. A drop to about zero will be observed as the probe passes the cable entry hole, and then an increase back to 100% when the hole is passed. Continue to the bottom of the column. This one's fine, with no detectable corrosion in the root. The same cannot be said of this demonstration one. The dipstick probe detects a serious loss of wall thickness caused by corrosion. This would represent a very unsafe column that should be removed quickly. How the results are interpreted is a matter for each lighting authority. But in my view, a red fault, the most serious, would result from a thickness loss of 50% or more over an area of 30 millimetres in diameter. A fault is more sinister if it's near ground level where a small area of fault may be considered a red defect. You'll become more confident as you use the dipstick and columns are removed for replacement, enabling you to visually confirm the extent of the defect. Section losses of 70% or more should result in the immediate removal of a column, while 50 to 70% would almost certainly warrant a replacement in the very near future. If you should find a loss of between 15 and 50%, it would be wise to reinspect the column within a year. Dipstick is versatile and can be operated by reversing the polarity so the probe can be passed upwards in the column. Although it's unlikely there will be a section loss in the upper section of the column that's worse than the root, swage joints can collect moisture and suffer corrosion. That's dipstick. It's easy to use, it's accurate and it can help you find potentially dangerous columns. I know it works because I helped design it and it's been in use for over 10 years.